morning, fellow traders. How are you today? Great. So, are you excited to know what is networking all about first? Yes. Well, I love to hear that. Okay. Now, what do we normally do is that when we actually meet up with someone, what do we do? And what do we expect from another person? I give you the answer already. It's acceptance and affirmation. Correct. So, do you want to feel accepted? Yes. Do you want to be affirmed? Yes. If I say Jinko, you know, you really look good today, and I really like your personality. You have a, such a sweet personality. How do you feel? Excellent. Excellent. So, Irving, you know, you look so professional and so helpful. You look like a person that's very kind and generous in knowledge. What do you think? You feel accepted and affirmation at the same time. Result, you know, you are an image consultant, and whatever you. Actually, portray is really look like your profession. You really portray your profession. I love your smile, and even when you come in, I can smell your perfume. That everyone knows that you're coming in. You really a superstar. You, know? you make people noticeable about you. How do you feel? Great, Great right? Like Petra, Petra, uh, Raja, Raja. I heard about that. You are very good in doing the photography session. Even from the camera, from our phone, we can do a fantastic job. Wow! I really want to learn from you. How do you feel? Fantastic. Fantastic, right? So this is the affirmation we are talking about, and the acceptance. Every one of us want, including me and Jackson's as well, right? So can everyone say thank you, Jackson, for this session? One, two, three. Thank you, Jackson, for this session. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's about the affirmation. So when we go to network, accept. Other than acceptation and affirmation that we know already, what else that we need to know? Okay. Okay, let me ask you about this question. What do you think that people most fear when they go to network? Don't know what to say, ah? Huh? Okay, that's one of them. I will come to that later part on this one. And now I wanted to go into a little bit deeper on the networking, the purpose of networking. Okay, now networking. A lot of times that we say that we wasted money when we go to network. Why we waste money and waste time when we go to network? Why? Because we go to the wrong event. Because we meet up the wrong people. But is that the people that we meet up really wrong? No, because we may not have the purpose of going to the networking event. So every time before we want to go to the place, we have to understand whether that event is actually purposeful for us. If you ask me whether networking is purposeful, the answer is yes. If I go to to network, I either look for someone that can help me. I'm not necessarily look for sales. When it come to networking, it's not necessarily direct sales, but it's indirect sales. So when I go to network, I actually look for people that can help me to go for a bigger platform. For example, if I want to meet up with the presidents of BNI, would that be a good leads for me? So at the end of the networking, we actually wanted to have what? One thing, a high quality leads. The high quality leads can become our customer, can become our advocates for us to do whatever we we want to achieve. That is about the networking result. So everybody everybody is used to 80/20. You all understand the 80/20 Pareto principle. A lot of people ask me, why are you not into the MLM company when you are coming from MLM company yourself? Now I say that in company like MLM, you have a very extreme two side, 80-20, 20-80. Okay, what is that? It's either you you're very good in managing people in terms of relationship, you just manage using your time 20% to manage the people, you get 80% result. Or most of the time, if you do not know how to manage them, you will use the 80% of your time managing behavior, then get the result of 20%. That's why people leave the company. Okay. So networking is actually a soft skill that we need in terms of doing sales. Let me ask you another question: If you have a very good product, do you think that your product by will sell by itself? Will sell by itself? Then there's many product coming up, right? Anybody can become creative because everybody thinks of a passive income. I just sit down there and then the product can sell by itself. Is that true that they can sell by itself? Exactly. It is no the answer. So then, what do you need to do then? If it's no, you need to sell, correct? You need a good salespeople. But today, right? If I see you as a salesperson, right, or you see me as a salesperson, 
How do you feel about me? Cut off. Cut off straight away. You don't even want to see me. If I, you know that my intention is to sell things to you, correct? So, but how do I sell my things to you? If let's say I, I need to, do I need to camouflage my initial purpose that I want to do this, but I don't want you to let you let you know. How do I do that? But then again, you will feel that Liwa is not genuine. They come and let me know and friend me just because they want to have sales only. So how do you do that? Okay. I have a book. This book I have written, my secret is out here. If you just go to see the person with the purpose of who just want to close the sales, you are not going to get it. If you finish this book, reading this book, you understand the, z the gist of it, it's about become an effective networker. What do you mean by, mean by effective networker? When you become an effective networker, you become a great influencer. Meaning, people love to associate with you even though you are, they know you are selling things. People want to be with you and want to be part of your journey of success. Let me share with you about this book. When I'm writing this book, I just wrote it in November, middle of November last year. I took six weeks to finish this. By end of December, I finished this. I just did another 10 days for my copywriter to just copyright the whole things. And one of my friends called Marcus, he come and challenged me. He said that, Li Hua, why don't you sell 100 books before you launch your book? My book launches on the 16th of February. So I said, okay, I have three weeks, three weeks to go. That was after some time, he said, I have three weeks to go before my book launch date. Okay. I think I accept the challenge.